Well, all right, all right, all right. I am here in downtown Myrtle Beach right now, and I am looking at an empty lot. It's right beside the Atlantica on the left and Atlantica on the right. And I actually got a notification in my Google when I was down in Florida that the city will be voting on and maybe trying to get approval for Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville Resort right here in this empty lot. So this is, where's this at here? This is like uh, probably around 16th to 18th Avenue. But I think a Myrtle Beach Resort right here, a Margaritaville Resort right here would be really, really good. But uh, what I found the biggest kick out of, what I got the biggest kick out of was actually these other owners in this area were talking about making upgrades and redoing their resorts because of Margaritaville having a resort here that they actually wanted to upgrade their resorts to keep in line with Margaritaville. But you would think that they would already be offering the best that they could offer already. So with competition coming in, they act like they're going to have to upgrade. I mean, this Atlantica right here, this looks like it's got a pretty good pool. A lazy river there. It's got a little small pool, a little hot tub. I mean, it's close to the boardwalk. And will they actually extend the boardwalk down here? I mean, got a pad right here, and the boardwalk is not that far, actually. Somebody's been doing some pruning to those palm trees there. But how far down is the boardwalk? So this would be a pretty good extension area. They would extend the boardwalk on down here. Hey, there's a lot of wind right now, so I don't know how this audio is going to be. I'm actually, uh, I'm hoping bought some new earbuds and I'm hoping that the audio is actually recording through them. So I'm just getting ready to leave the beach and back down to Orlando. Back to the golf courses. The golf course down there. This is a new little seating area right here. But yeah the boardwalk actually stops right here so that would not be uh, that far to extend it on down to a Margaritaville resort and I think the city could probably have them pay it's only uh, two resorts down so that would add on to the boardwalk which would be a great addition Woo! Boy, it went bad. But it's like 65 right now. It feels like it's dropped down a little bit. But we're going to uh, get ready to uh, head back to the beach or back to the uh, theme parks. Actually started the channel so I could switch over here. I'm surviving as a carnivore. And I will start posting weekly on that. So I'm going to try to post twice a week on that. Back to the truck. Uh, it's probably 
right down Ocean Boulevard here real quick. All right, so I want you to say hello to my new traveling partner here. He, uh, he was just too cute. Bought some Christmas lights for the house yesterday and hung them. Gina put me to work while I was here. But he's my new traveling partner. I just picked him up at Lowe's yesterday. He was just too cute. So he's going he's gonna to be my riding partner. But let's head up uh, or head down Ocean Boulevard real quick just to see if there's anything new going on. Uh, I don't think there is. This is uh, We Are The Beach. Signs here with the Myrtle Beach heart on the uh, banner there hanging. Here's Ocean Enclave, which is a uh, Hilton property. Uh, so your sports bar, I guess uh, the Legends is now here with the uh, Banditos and the Tin Roof. There's the Funplex. Got the Yachtsman here. Got some uh, retail space available. They probably not put anything back in the uh, arcade in there. Got the Olympic Flames closed for the season, reopened in February. Noticed that one of the uh, seafood restaurants was actually closed until January. <laughs> closed for the month of December. Boathouse Bar and Grills open. The sky Wheels up and running this morning. But yeah, I'm uh, really interested in seeing if this city approves Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. Because that's what actually was supposed to be, I think, from what I've been told, by some pretty reliable sources. Oh, here's the uh, land shark and the statue of the swimming dolphins. Mermaid. City's done a really good job, which I'll post that video tonight, probably when I get back. With the, uh, the gay dolphin. Probably post that video tonight when I get back. Of the uh, Christmas lights here at the Fun Plaza. But as you can see, it's pretty dead right now. It's uh, Sunday morning, rainy. I'm going to head down. Uh, probably, uh, let's go all the way down to uh, Family Kingdom. And then I'm going to head to the house and head back to the beach. Or head back to Orlando. I keep saying to the beach. Eighth Avenue Tiki Bar, Bargain Beachwear. Really interesting to see what all goes in here. It looks like they've got some individual units up on top on the second and third floor. Got an elevator. It's going to be interesting to see what all businesses are in here and what all this entails. Actually, uh, I'm not going to go all the way down. We'll make this right here. I did notice something out here. This area right here, as you can see, the city is buying up property like crazy in here and closing them down. They're older motels. So this is this is eventually going. Something big is going to happen here eventually at some point in time. And the city actually just purchased one down here and closed it down. It was really bad for drugs and uh, prostitution and everything. So not Myrtle Beach. Things like that don't happen in Myrtle Beach. Let's see here. We'll make this 
head north now. Yeah, it's this one. Uh, actually, uh, Pizza Heaven White Sands Motel. I actually bought that and closed that one down. It's right beside the old subway. And I would say this subway is going to disappear here. Alright, so that's your uh, Myrtle Beach update before I head back to Orlando. Make sure you hit that like button to subscribe. My hair is all jacked up from the wind down there. Make sure you hit that like button to subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side and stay frosty.